Alright guys, so yesterday I have updated the PvE tier list for August 2024 with the release of Star Coral as well as Moonlight's Crystal Jam. And today I'm going to be updating the PvP tier list for you guys to know exactly what cookies are still being used in the meta. And some of the, you know, changes and some of the uh, new stuff that are kind of popping up, I guess. New variations of comps and things like that. So let's go into the PvP. P tier list for august 2024 this is for late august 2024 so if they do have another update maybe i'll update it but it'll most likely move on to the september one so here we go guys so starting off of course we still have the d tier and these are going to pretty much always going to stay the same in my opinion if not being added onto with new cookies that are just not going to be used and that's going to be starting from sonic all the way up to tiger lily you know, some of these cookies did have their time in the arena. Someone like, you know, uh, Kumio, Tiger Lily, even uh, Pastry back in the days. And Lilac -like as well, but they're just not being used at, uh, anymore, really. And even Raspberry, that triple tank. First time the triple tank comp came out. But moving on to the C tier, it's going to be from Candy Diver to Cherry Blossom. I did mistake in uh, Peach Blossom as Cherry Blossom in the last video. But uh, these cookies, I did actually bring down someone like matcha as well as camel shoe and street urchin and stuff like that down to the c tier because again you know it really makes no big difference uh but i think if someone like affogato poison mushroom uh and those cookies are here then these cookies do deserve to be in c tier rather than b tier as well and you know no one really uses them at, on top of that so next one is going to be the b tier and that's going to be from uh our butter roll all the way down to frill jellyfish and almond cookie here and these cookies again too had their time uh, but now just are very average um i would say some are better than some inside of the b tier like even b tier can be slip, split up into different tiers most of them are going to be usable supports someone like or healers uh, someone like cream unicorn macaron pomegranate carol oyster you know cotton frill jellyfish you know these guys can be used in certain situations especially like if you don't have anything if it's just starting off they're not bad to begin with of course again inside of the b tier they can be split up into different tiers as well and i would most likely put some of these cookies up in the top just because they are viable inside of different areas provide buffs and things like that but inside of the arena the biggest thing that they lack is survivability they will just literally explode because of all the damage that you know cookies do inside of the arena nowadays and they become useless so that's the main reason why these guys are just in b tier can't even survive can't even do damage uh can't even provide buffs in in uh in that sense so mainly the reason why they're in b tier very average in most situations next one is going to be our a tier a tier is from pataya going down to someone like dark cow the non-awakened down to pinecone and then continuing from mozzarella all the way down to herb so i actually did bring down someone like our peppermint uh our silver belt as well as rockstar down to a tier as well again these particular supports did have some roles inside of the arena back in the days when the damage was not insane nowadays these cookies literally just cannot survive especially like rockstar even with the crit buff and even with the encore and you know stuff like that just just cannot survive like rockstar will have full solid almond and still explode uh in most situations of course there are going to be certain comps like if you use crimson coral to buff up your cookies and increase their survivability they might be able to survive but you know these supports are i would say in in some sense for arena better than these right here but still not going to be very good herb for that purify uh and did get like a little slight you know healing buff and such but besides that you know these cookies are going to be better uh in the arena sense than some of these cookies right here uh but just not very good overall inside of the arena now just because again irrelevance overpower cookie pvp you guys know the rule already most of the time if new cookies come out then the old cookies do go down in ranks or they get a revival if certain cookies come out that buffs them up but let's go on to the s tier and that's going to be from c fairy all the way down to bts so i think this one is open for discussion as well if you guys would like to let me know 
Uh, if you think Sea Fairy with the buff deserves to be in the SS tier, you guys can let me know. However, in my personal experience and talking to other people who have, you know, used Sea Fairy, who would love Sea Fairy, not really used for the arena. Mayhem, different story because of the buffs and the special conditions that you guys have. But Sea Fairy, even with the buff, not going to be good. Again, doesn't have survivability. Doesn't have anything that increases damage resist or anything like that. Doesn't have any real dodges uh, compared to someone like Black Pearl. Someone compared to like, you know, uh, even Moonlight. Frost Queen just has insane damage and survivability. Just, just tanky in general. In most cases, uh, her Crystal Jam Effect 2 is just very geared towards water element. So not going to be great. All right. And then we have someone like Sherbet and, you know, all the pretty good like elemental cookies uh weakness debuff crit uh you know we got elemental weakness we got uh cloud hetty who was pretty good uh when mystic flyer came out first but you know not anymore uh with all the other cookies coming out um so yeah that's pretty much what we have for the s tier and now let's move on to the meta tier and the SS tier as well. All right, guys, so I already placed them onto the board, uh, but starting off with the meta tier, all right? And that's gonna be from our Awakened Dark Cow all the way down to Pure Vanilla. Before I get into all the discussion, I think Pure Vanilla right now is an iffy one as well. And I guess you guys can let me know down in the comments below if you guys still see Pure Vanilla. I do still see Pure Vanilla inside of my arena battles, and not a lot, but still is there. If you don't use someone like, you know, uh, Stormbringer, very, very hard to kill. Just because of the pure amount of healing and the shield, you know, it's it's a lot harder to kill. Especially if you're using more of a, you know, team that doesn't have the raw damage uh, to actually burst them uh, down. So we have Pure Vanilla still up here, but, you know, if you guys think that he deserves to be an SS, then let me know down in the comments below. Uh, but everything is pretty much the same except i have actually brought up elder fairy as well and the reason why i did that is because of the fact that elder fairy uh is a good counter to someone like wallberry uh, especially comboed up with someone like stardust all right uh, so i haven't seen a lot more of those comps still being used inside of the arena just because wallberry is still really really strong especially with the release of someone like star coral uh, you can actually combo it pretty well as well. Uh, so I have that. Definitely Golden Cheese and Black Pearl, I think, are still meta. Uh, especially Black Pearl, the combination with the damage resist bypass is really, really good still. And people are still using her to combo together with someone like Dark Cow, someone like Frost Queen, someone like White Lily. And even right now, possibly some people are testing it out with Moonlight as well. And that's for uh, the discussion after this. But pretty much the arena meta has stayed pretty consistent as of right now, even with the release of Star Coral, as well as Moonlight Crystal Jam. But again, that is for the discussion after this tier. All right, so pretty much again, uh, what you have seen before, except for the addition of, I think, elder fairy all right then moving on to the ss tier is going to be from moonlight even with the crystal jam all the way down to snapdragon and we did add the new star coral in the ss tier all right now let's go into the discussion about moonlight so moonlight crystal jam has been tested thoroughly by a lot of different players and i gotta be honest with you at level one through nine the damage actually does decrease slightly and there are slight debuffs all right or slight like nerfs that have taken place in her skill and i've discussed this during the pve section as well however once you do reach the plus 10 mark it does about like flatten out ish and then you reach that 15 mark of course if you have ascensions then you do gain some extra buffs as well the stats and then once you reach the 20 mark is where you get a significant increase in her values and the damage that she does so a lot of you guys you know i gotta let you guys know that you might be using her at plus 10 and you might still see a very low damage numbers and i'm gonna be honest with you even at plus zero if you did increase the uh, crystal jam you're gonna see the around the same number 
And the reason why is because the built-in damage resist and the damage resist that you gain from the Crystal Jam, very similar. But again, it's built-in, but in Crystal Jam, you have to get it up to plus 10. So there is that, except you have some new buffs that you get from like the debuff resist and stuff like that. So Moonlight does gain a little bit more viability inside of the arena at plus 10 if you compare it to what she was before. You can't even use her before. Um, so you can use her as a support and the buffer with like the crystal jam effect and things like that. But once you reach the plus 20, she becomes an insane damage dealer and plus 30, she becomes even better. However, again, the downside is you need to get it up to plus 20. Plus 30 takes a very, very long time. And especially for you guys who have probably created plus 20, plus 30 for Frost Queen and Black Pro, I already know that. And that's the only reason why I placed her at SS tier. And you guys can let me know if you think that is fair or could be moved out to the meta tier as well but besides that everything else is pretty much uh similar except for the addition of star coral um i have uh still placed crambole in the ss tier and the reason why i place this and a lot of you guys tell me like hey my crambole still just dies it's because as an epic cookie he is still one of the best damage dealers that people could start out with without having anybody else really like black pearl like twizzly gummy you know, uh, Captain Caviar, these guys do kind of rely on the other thunder elements or water elements to do damage. Crambolet, just attack speed, straight up attack speed, just need a tanky front line and you just melt the enemies in lower tiers. Of course, if you guys get to tiers or ranks where they have a pretty balanced team and set teams, then Crambolet starts to fall off. But that's the reason why I still have Crambolet and SS tier. Blu-ray Pie still can be used with something like, you know, Stormbringer. Uh, we got Burnt Cheese, Fettuccine still a pretty relatively good non-Magic Candy tanks that you guys can use. Dark Choco with the uh, Dark Element and some crit damage and Dark Damage and stuff like that. And then we got the, um, you know, the Special Cookie Safeguards as well. And pretty much that's gonna be it for the tier list here, guys. Uh, so let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Of course, the arena tier does change significantly, but this time around, not so much. Uh, Star Coral and Moonlight uh, Crystal Jam didn't make a crazy impact in it. Just that once you do get Moonlight up to 20, 30, you're going to see some up there in that top rank where all the whales are. Personally, for me, I'm keeping it at plus 10 as of right now. Slowly farm it to 20, and then maybe I'll do a review then. But thanks for watching guys uh, if you guys haven't checked out my pve tier list then it will be in front of you guys right now or check out the moonlight crystal jam review that i've done for plus 10 and the first impression thanks for watching